Thank you so much for listening to American Medicine Today. I'm Kimberly Bonatti, joined by Ethan Euchre. Pleasure to be here. Yes. Jeff will join us in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And we're here with world-renowned orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Alfred Bonatti. Thanks for being here. Hello. Hi. Scientists have discovered that a particular type of honey may have more bacteria-killing properties than antibiotics without causing drug resistance. And here to discuss is Professor Bashar Walid, one of the lead researchers on the project. Thanks for being here, Bashar. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Now, Bashir, uh, in this day and age of antibiotic-resistant microbes and things mm-hmm. like that, we Super definitely bugs. need a, a better solution. Uh, what led your research to focus on this type of honey? My interest in, in honey dated back to 2004, where I was involved with uh, a work on wound healing and how honey promotes healing after um, uh, ulceration of the skin. And then I moved on into looking at the antibacterial properties of honey in the context of uh, urinary catheter, which is again one of my interests, uh, to inhibit particularly biofilm formation. The reason I wanted Ethan to reach out is um, because this kind of hits close to home. My grandfather um, had MRSA and these big MRSA wounds on him. And basically the doctors thought he would die of it. He had three or four and my mother used um, colloidal silver and manuka honey to kind of seal the wound. And, mm. and each time yeah. she'd refresh the dressing, but it helped them heal and completely go away without any other problems. Exactly, exactly. And we have so many kind of examples here in terms of uh, clinical uh, uh, context where uh, we've used uh, honey on diabetic foot, on uh, diabetic ulcerations, ulceration due to incontinence and so on. And uh, sure. we've been able to uh, arrive to a fantastic outcome without the use of antibiotics. And now how specifically does it work? I mean, do you ingest it? Do you say, as Kimberly just said, you use it as an act, you rub it on a wound? Uh, and how? what makes it so antibiotic? The mechanism is something that yet to be fully elucidated, but the way we use it depends on the context that we're using it. So, for example, now a lot of a lot of company are using it uh, impregnated uh, honey uh, dressings. There are so many of them, and so many companies are using them. Uh, in our context here, we are planning to use it as a solution, so that patient could flush. Uh, the catheters uh, to either reduce, we're still working on this in this area to prevent uh, formation of biofilm. So depending on the context, really, the application will, will, uh, will vary. And isn't some of the reaction based on the article that I read, and correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't the honey react with, I guess, the wound and the, the microbes that are in it? And it and s- essentially produces hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, correct? Well, this is one of the mechanisms, but in terms of working in wood, it does it, it does a three things. So it's a, a triple kind of action. So it inhibits bacterial growth. It also promotes the formation of uh, a new blood vessels so that the wound heal. Uh, and also it inhibits inflammation, which is one of the areas that <clears throat> I am also working on at the moment. So it does a triple action really in terms of helping the wound to, to heal. Well, I, I think probably one of the causes of how it works is uh, because uh, they will change the pH of the, the tissue. And when you change the pH of the tissue, then the culture of the microorganism will not tolerate that and will die. This is one way of killing bacteria, yes. Recently, really, we have reduced some work that is not published yet. It uh, Somehow, it, it, it destroys a, a part of the cell wall of the bacteria. Uh, we're still really working on... It's a very interesting observation using... Uh, imaging kind of techniques. So we, we're trying to elucidate why this is happening. So it's really a multi kind of uh, action that honey does to, to, to either kill bacteria, destroy the biofilm if you like, or, or it, it promotes, promotes angiogenesis or inhibits inflammation. So it's not one action. Right. And, 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 and the proof of this is that some group have fractionated uh, honey into fractions uh, but when you use the fractions by themselves, you do not observe the same effect as when using the whole honey. Right. And it, it um, protects, I guess, biofilms mm-hmm. from collecting. So those microorganisms that make other antibiotics not work properly, it inhibits that. It 
disintegrate biofilm. It protects yeah. the skin from forming biofilms. Yes, it prevented it from forming. You're absolutely right. So sure. this, is, this is where we're trying to go with, uh, with the current work okay. uh, to see whether we'll be able to completely prevent the formation. So the, the, the study uh, you're referring to mm-hmm. it shows honey uh, disintegrate or, 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 or destroy the biofilm formation when it is formed. But our plan really is to stop biofilm formation. Uh, from forming from the start. And what type of Manuka honey is it that you're looking for? Because you say not all are the same. What is the one thing you need to look at when buying Manuka honey? So the one that we've been experimenting with recently and working with Convito on this is the Manuka 15 Plus. Okay. So all of them are graded according to the UMF, which is unique Manuka factor. Okay. Uh, And this they go from 10 to 15 to uh, 20 plus to 25 for plus okay. and so on. Uh, so the one that we've been experimenting with at the moment is 15 plus. Okay, and that's, what is it, unrefined or unprocessed? Unprocessed, but obviously, unprocessed. you know, the honey that we buy off the shelf, for example, is, is, is all uh, has to go through uh, a gamma radiation, for example, just to uh, kill any bacteria there. Okay. But uh, but it is the stuff that you get off the shelf. All right. Well, thank you so much. Unfortunately, we're out of time because I'd love to discuss this longer. Um, but we have uh, Professor Bashir Walid, one of the lead researchers on the project of finding out that Manuka honey has more bacteria-killing properties than antibiotics, and it doesn't cause any drug resistance. Thank Mm -hmm. you so much for being on the program. It's my pleasure, and I look forward to talking to you again once we have further kind of results. Absolutely. Thanks, Bashir. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.